Alright, so the ingredients that you'll need for the crust is one cup of almond flour with one and a half cups oat flour, a small banana, two tablespoons raw honey, one tablespoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a cup of egg whites, and half a teaspoon of sea salt. First things first, let's preheat our oven to 400 degrees. And while it's preheating, we can begin combining our dry ingredients. So just start by pouring the sea salt, followed by the almond flour and oat flour, into a small bowl and just make sure that you combine them together so they're evenly distributed. Set the dry ingredients aside and let's start mixing up the wet ingredients. So I'm just throwing the banana in there. And a banana is a really great substitute for oil when you're making a dessert dish because it has that sweetness, but it also adds some moisture to the dish. Next, pour the egg whites and begin mixing. Then you want to slowly add in the vanilla, cinnamon, and raw honey and just combine everything together. Now let's pull together the wet and the dry ingredients, throw them into a large bowl and mix until it turns into a dough. Now you can get miniature tart pans from a store but cupcake liners work just as fine. So start grabbing a tablespoon of the dough, placing it into the liners and slowly begin pulling it up the side so it's evenly distributed throughout the cup. Now pop them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Now that the crust is baking, we can make the next layer which is a yogurt base. So I'm using half a teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of raw honey, fourth a cup of coconut cream, and one cup of non-dairy yogurt. So I'm using coconut yogurt. And you can just mix all of this up into a bowl and that's that. Now to top it all off, just grab a bunch of mixed berries and chop them up if you need to to make everything bite-sized. And for the fun part, let's just start assembling everything together. Pour about a tablespoon of the coconut cream on top of the crust and throw some berries on there. And there you have the perfect, healthy, and delicious treat to take to any cookout. Now when it comes to what to wear to a cookout, you want to be both chic and comfortable. So I like to stick with rompers because they're simple and one piece, you can just throw it on, add a belt to cinch it at the waist, and a nice shoulder bag or crossbody bag to elongate your legs. And then just add a glammed up sandal with a chunky heel and you're all set.